Sing chao, hello, welcome to the Crooked Truth. My name is Melo and I am your judge in this court. I may be harsh, but trust me, there is one thing you can never take away from me. That is the truth. I will tell you the truth no matter what, without any filters and without any fears. I always try to give a disclaimer to the newcomers here that be careful that your issue or your case does not enter this court and place before me because no matter who you are if your case comes here we will not forgive you we will not pamper you or favor you over here now before we proceed to the case i urge everyone to remain silent here before this court order in court today's case is very sensitive but like you know in this court no matter how sensitive the case is we need to address it the way it is now, there is a guy here in Ghana called Hayford. Now, these guys leak videos. They were doing a whole lot of things in this video, which popped online. And a whole lot of people are seeing what they have to say. They are on this guy's neck because this guy is someone who doesn't portray himself to be LGBTQ member. Or a gay. He once even disrespected a woman by saying the woman is not his spec and the woman cannot have a crush on him. He went viral on Twitter for saying that. So people thought that this guy is straight, he is not gay. After his videos with another guy came online. Now, this guy, this other guy portrays himself as a woman even though he has the male genital organ. This guy was doing a whole lot of shit with a guy who portrays himself as a girl. Now, the story is so octopus. If I say octopus, it means the story has no head, has no tail. It's very scattered. Now, according to information, this guy has a sugar mommy, and the sugar mommy told him to do this kind of video or to have that kind of you know intimacy with a gay partner and she will pay the guy the question is what is the sugar mommy using this video for now the guy also agreed with that guy who has made himself gay that he is going to pay him 1500 Ghana cities now according to information this Hayford guy paid 700 and uh, he refused to pay 800 So it seems that is why the other girl leaked the video. This is not the issue. But I want us to watch the video. People want to harm this guy. And that is what we will talk about. Even though after watching the video, I will try to talk about some things before we delve into the main issue why we are here. Let's watch this. I always say that these LGBTQ people, they attract people with flashy things. They attract people with money. They attract people with, you know, survival promises. Now, they will try to pamper you. They will try to show you care, love. When you need help, they will help you so easily. And that is the way they used to attract people. Now, this LGBTQ thing has been rampant here in Ghana, especially when you go to the capital city, Accra. Due to the fact that a whole lot of guys and girls want to survive, but they do not know how. They want to live flashy life, luxurious life. They want to get closer to a whole lot of celebrities 
And this is how they get themselves trapped into this LGBTQ. I've always said that I don't stand against this LGBTQ thing because people think morally it's not right. These people also think that humanly it's their right. So I always say, look, if I go to a restaurant to eat fried rice and I see someone buying the whole of jollof, taking it away, I don't care because this person buying the whole jollof doesn't stop me from buying my fried rice to eat. If you will fuck your anus in quotes and create a big hole in your anus, that's your own problem. It doesn't affect me. It does not affect me. If a relative of mine is engaging in that, that is when I will know how to deal with that person. But if you are not my relative and you want to engage in that, that is your own problem. It doesn't affect me in any way. You see? So, people engaging in LGBTQ is not a crime unless an anti-LGBTQ bill has been passed. That is when it's illegal. I don't think it has been passed yet here in Ghana. So why should you go and attack someone whose video popped up that he is LGBTQ or he's involving himself in those kind of things? What right do you have to go attack somebody like we saw in the video? Yes, morally you think it's wrong. Morally, you think it's wrong. That is your own perception. If you are a Christian, you are a Muslim, you are whatever. Maybe that person is not into your religion. So if you think morally he is wrong, then that is your own problem. You cannot go and attack him. Even if it is against the law here in Ghana, do you think it's right to go attack somebody? To beat somebody just because they did what is wrong? No. If it's wrong, take the person to the police station. Let the law deal with the person. That is what we have to do. You don't have the right to beat someone because the person is gay. People are doing this kind of things and the law is not punishing them. So they think it's right to beat someone when the person is gay. Listen, it's not criminal offense to be a gay here in Ghana. It's not a criminal offense because the person has not stolen anything. The person has not killed anybody. The person has not used any illegal stuff. Anti-LGBTQ bill has not been passed yet. That is what I know, unless maybe I'm, I'm getting it wrong. So you don't have any right to go beat someone because the person is gay. No, you can do that even though morally we don't like it. But they also think that humanly it's their right unless the bill has been passed. That is when, when you cut them, you can take them to the police station or you can take them to court and whatever they will do to them, they do to them. Now, like I don't even understand why should a man, why should a sensible man put your mouth in the anus of another man and lick. Are you like, are you normal? Is this what the LGBTQ is all about? Even as a man, sensible man, you shouldn't be licking a woman's anus. As a sensible woman, you shouldn't be licking a man's anus. If not for, you know, stupid fantasies, why would you even go lick someone's anus? Even licking people's underparts, like the vagina, and licking people's, you know, penis. Even that, in a way, is abnormal. But we are trying to make it normal. Eh? How much more the anus? Anus. Oh, you guys are really disturbing so much. Hey, Ford, people thought you were not gay because you were trying to do yourself like, yo, fine boy, fine boy, fine boy, not knowing you are gay. Anyways, it's not right to beat people if they are gay. Even if the law is against LGBTQ, you have no right to go beat people because they are gay. This is something we should know here in Ghana. Anybody who beats other people because they are gay, the law must 
take them up. The law must take them on. The law must deal with them. If you think someone has broken LGBTQ law, take the person to the police. Take the person to the court. Let the law deal with the person. You can't go around beating people just because they think things are their human rights, which does not affect you sitting somewhere, which does not affect your family, which does not affect anybody that you love. If they say they will chop their hands, says it will not harm you. Let them do it. Let them destroy their animals. That's their own problem. That is their own problem. It's so sad. Anyways, the video is very horrible. And I cannot put it here. If you want to find the whole uh, noise, the whole noise about what we are talking about and so on, just go to Twitter. Go to the set tool and look for and search for Hayford. Hayford. You will see it. The kind of horrible videos you will see two males, two males sucking their dates and licking their anus. It's so annoying. Imagine if this guy Hayford is your boyfriend and he has done that. If this guy Hayford is your sibling and has done that, ah shit. It's crazy. Listen, your husband that you trust so much may be gay. You do not know. Your brother that you trust so much may be gay. Your boyfriend who is running after other girls and you call him a womanizer may be gay. You do not know. The macho man in the gym that you think macho men cannot be gay. They are, some of them are gay. So you may not know. You may not know. Look, it's becoming so horrible. It's becoming so strange. People you think they are not gay may be gays just because of financial issues. People will, not, people will not understand. They will say, oh, gay, do not. They are lying. Gay. If you join them, financially, they will help you. They will support you. So if you are someone who likes flashy, flashy things, who wants to live a luxurious life, be careful. If not, you will be trapped. Visiting your male friends and female friends, be careful. If they cannot get you, they can use drugs. They can drag your food or your drink and they will get you before you realize They've entered your anus. And if they enter your anus because of shyness, you wouldn't be able to tell people and you'll be addicted to it and you will join them. So be careful out there. Now, people who are beating gays, you don't have the right to beat gays. Yes, if it's against the law, let them take them to court or the police should arrest them. Listen to the wisdom. Listen to the sense I'm telling you. Because the police are not, you know, taking you on for beating people who are gay. So you still keep on doing it. Be careful out there. Anyways, if you've watched this video till now, kindly consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell so you become part of this tribe family. Share the video for others to see and also leave their comments. Now, put your comments in the comment section. It's your own opinion. That's your judgment or an appeal. I may look into it or not. But they are welcome. Put them in the comment section. Let's all share ideas over here. Your boy Melody, I will see you in the next court session. May all the courts rise. No more. If you know make money, friends, go dog you. Nobody said they love you. You first step up your hustle. Cause one day you gotta make it. If you know make money, friends, go dog you. Nobody said they love you. You first step up your hustle. Cause one day. Cause one day, no you gotta love me now.